Are you thinking about moving from California to Tennessee, but you're just overwhelmed by everything that needs to be done to make it happen? Are you also sick and tired of living in a state that's run by Governor Newsom? Well, you are in luck because in today's video, I'm gonna help you formulate a plan. I'm gonna give you a strategy to put together a blueprint so that you can smoothly and easily make that move from California to Tennessee. Before I get started, let me just quickly introduce myself. My name is Matt Bogosian, and I'm a real estate agent right here in the middle Tennessee area. I have helped dozens of people just like yourself make that move from California to Tennessee. And over the years, after talking to my clients and hearing about how hard it was for them to make that dream a reality, I finally figured out an answer. I have finally figured out a way that you can gain some clarity and feel confident that you can make that move. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you that concept and I hope it helps you finally move from California and Governor Newsom here to the great state of Tennessee. So let's dive right in. So you probably just heard me mention the word clarity. And I believe that is going to be the key to helping you feel confident that you can make this move to Tennessee. So how do you gain clarity? Well, right now you're probably feeling very overwhelmed by all the tasks that you need to complete. You're probably thinking, how am I gonna get all this done? I never can do it. This is just depressing, I give up. I'm telling you, it doesn't have to be that way. Right now, I believe there's just too much uncertainty for you. You just don't have all the answers, and because of that, you feel overwhelmed and not sure if you can make it happen. So the key that I want you to remember is clarity. Clarity is so important. So what I want you to do is get a notebook, and I want this notebook to be dedicated to your move here to Tennessee. And on the first page of that notebook, I want you to open it up, and I want you to start brainstorming and writing down every single task that you need to complete to be able to make the move here. I'm talking everything. If you need to sell your home, do you need to get a job? Do you need to get approved for a loan? Do you need to figure out how to transport the cats? Do you need to find a mover? Do you need to figure out how to break the news to your family or friends? Just anything that you can think of here. There are no boundaries. I want you to sit down and just brain dump. Write everything down and keep on writing. I think that this should probably take you at least a week and maybe 15 to 30 minutes every day. I wanna make sure that you get everything out, every concern that you have, I want you to write it down on that piece of paper. This is probably gonna take up a couple pages on your notebook, but that's fine. Just go ahead and do that and then come back to this video. All right, now that you've got that done, you probably already feel a little bit better. At least you've been able to write everything out and it's in front of you now and you've got a little better understanding of everything that needs to be done. It's not just a, how am I gonna do this? I have no idea. You've got things written down now that you know you need to do. So that should make you feel better. But we need to take this a step further. So what I want you to do now is take all those tasks and I want you to dedicate one page in the notebook or two pages or whatever you think it's gonna take. I want you to write that task at the top of each page. And I want you to break that task down into small, simple steps. As simple as you can get, like things that you can complete every single day. So maybe it's research the top 10 high schools in Tennessee or research what my home's worth or call five movers and get pricing, just anything, just really list it out. You could do one mover every day. Just make it really simple and break that task down into a lot of small tasks. All right, now that you have that complete, 
go ahead and just rip out the first one or two pages where you did your brainstorming. You're not gonna need that anymore. You've already got all the tasks written on their own individual page, along with the subtasks that are gonna need to be completed. The next thing I want you to do is look through all these main tasks and try to put them in some type of chronological order. This really doesn't matter how you do it. You can do whatever feels comfortable to you, but I want you to number each page however you want to do it. So one through 15 or whatever it is, just go ahead and number those and put them into some type of order that you feel comfortable with. All right, the next thing I want you to do is to go to task number one that you figured out that you want to do first and I want you to go ahead and number all the subtasks. Just number them in any order that you want, whatever you feel comfortable with doing. Do whichever subtask you want first and just go through and number those. The next thing I want you to do, and this is so important, this is really where the, the commitment from you comes in. I want you to pick a day and time on your calendar to work on these subtasks. And it doesn't matter when or how often you can do it. If you can only work on it for a half an hour once a week, that's fine. If you can work on something every single day, well, that's even better. That's gonna get you through everything in here to Tennessee even quicker. But you've gotta somehow commit. And by putting it on your calendar, it's gonna force you to do these things. You know you wanna to get to Tennessee. You wanna get out of California. So this is a huge step. Commit, put a time down on your calendar where you're gonna to commit to doing these things. Now, once you start working on the subtasks and answering your questions and getting the items completed, make sure that you take notes for each subtask as well so you can go back to them to refer to later, just in case you forget anything. The key is make sure you write everything down and keep everything organized in a notebook. All right, y'all, so at this point, if you've done all of that and you've at least got everything written down, even if you haven't started working on the subtask that you have to do, you should have a lot more clarity. You should have a whole lot better understanding of what you need to do in order to make this happen. And clarity is key. It's so much better if you have that plan written out and you feel clear about what needs to happen to make it work. You should have confidence now that you can do it. So I encourage you to do this exercise and work through it because I promise it's going to help you. It's going to help you make that move from California, get out of that state, and get over here to Tennessee. I have so many clients that have made the move, and they are so happy that they did. I know that when you get here to Tennessee, you will be so happy, and you'll wish that you did it sooner. So, guys, please take my advice. You can change things around a little bit, but just come up with a plan and some tasks and break them into smaller, simple steps that are easy for you to achieve each and every day. Y'all, the point of all of this is to simplify the process. And if you break everything down into small, easy, simple steps, it's gonna make your life so much easier. If you just throw moving from California to Tennessee into one lump task, that's like impossible. And it's gonna be so overwhelming and you're not really gonna know where to start. So by writing things down and brainstorming and breaking them into small, simple tasks, it is gonna create a lot of clarity for you, which in turn is gonna make you confident that you can make this move happen. I promise you guys, I have so many clients that have made the move and every time they say that they wish they did it sooner. They are so much happier here in Tennessee. Don't make this move from California to Tennessee so complex and so hard. Simplify it. I promise guys, try out my strategy and I think it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier. 
Once again, my name's Matt Bogosian. I'm a real estate agent right here in Middle Tennessee. I hope you guys make it to Tennessee. I'd love to see it happen. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.